So I'm having a chat with Sean Millis. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks so much. So uh, we've just been playing a new single of yours, Waiting on a Miracle. Tell us a little bit about the track. Uh, it's It's got a lot of emotion. Um, it kind of shares my story about obviously just never giving up and having a lot of determination and passion and just hoping one day that what you love to do will will happen. And yeah. Yeah, good. And uh, are we uh, now starting to release more new music and gearing up to more releases? We are. We've got a new single coming out very soon, uh, which is going to be Fire. And um, you can also expect a dance club version of Waiting on a Miracle, which will be really fun too. Nice. How's the uh, how's that version of uh, Waiting on a Miracle sounding? Ah, uh, super, super cool, super cool. Super cool. It's just been it's just been so beautiful to see um so many people share the Waiting on a Miracle song. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, so do you think this is the start of bigger things to come? Because you're starting to get a little bit popular right now, aren't you? Yeah, I I couldn't really believe it once um like when I was number one in the UK for eleven days on the viral charts, it, it didn't feel real and I kind of, it's, it's something that you always hope for or you look forward to um, getting something that big, but it's definitely uh, made me not give up and just keep doing what I love. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I've read the story about how this track went viral, but but tell our listeners how, how it did. Yeah, it was quite bizarre. It was quite bizarre. Um, uh, a soccer player on Manchester United um, was made to be a lookalike. I was made to be a lookalike of him. And every time that he didn't score a goal, they would play Waiting on a Miracle, my song. And it started to go viral on Twitter, X. And I noticed it and I couldn't believe it. It was it was insane. And then I just, I jumped, I jumped on board and I wanted to show my support because I can't imagine the pressure of a club as big as Manchester United. So I just wanted to jump on and show my support and also share my song. And it was the feedback has been beautiful. And I'm so happy that it's got to reach um, so many people. Yeah, no, most definitely. And uh, you suffer with Hunter syndrome, which takes a lot of toll on you. How how much does that impact your music and, and any plans you might want to make regarding your music career? Uh, it definitely has its limit limitations because I'm in hospital uh, once a week uh, for the rest of my life. But it's also made uh, my attitude towards music and towards life as to just live every day like it's my last and to just put put everything into everything that I'm doing. I think that's one strength that I can take from living with a rare disease is to just keep pushing and keep keep doing what I love. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, considering that you do love it, I'd like to know what what made you do this in the first place. Um, I started singing quite young. I think uh, when I was in high school, I started choir. And when I start things, I just don't stop. I was I was never the most perfect singer, but I always loved to do it, and I just kept doing it, kept doing it. And yeah, I I never thought that I would get to this point, but. I'm really, really happy and just excited to keep sharing it with other people. Yeah, for sure. And you must have some aspirations of things you want to achieve. What What's one thing that you have to do in this in this musical career of yours? I definitely tour. I think tour would be incredible just to sing for people live. Um, I got to sing with Ian Tongi, who won American Idol mm. um, last year, and I was just just being amongst a live crowd and just just hearing the atmosphere it was just beautiful it's something that you can't always get over a screen yeah yeah most definitely and and talking of american idol you yourself have done uh, the voice in uh, australia how was that it was fun it was something that i've always always wanted to do i think it, the timing couldn't have been better um i've been singing online on tiktok and instagram for a few years and it just it got to the stage where um, I, st- I started to get views and numbers and people listening, but they didn't know. They didn't know me. They just they just heard the voice, saw my face. Um, going on the voice was 
really good because I got to share my story. And it's something that I've always wanted to do. And yeah, I'm really happy that I got to. Good, good. Excellent. Well, Sean, it's been a pleasure having a chat with you. No, it's been amazing. Thank you.